Yo, what is up, you guys? It's Commentary Never Say Coming or the Unseen One here, back at it again with another commentary. You guys probably do not recognize my voice. I'll be on that topic in just a moment, but first, the gameplay you're seeing in the background is a solo 110 kill specialist on Warhawk, so I hope you guys do enjoy that in the background, and it makes it even better because this gameplay is actually very rare because all you really see nowadays are just strike zone 100 plus specialists, and obviously Warhawk is a lot different map, and it takes a lot more skill, so if you guys would hit that like button, show Invincible or Jake some awesome support so he can go out there and get more beastly gameplays, that'd be awesome. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button for Jake, and let's get right down into today's commentary. So before I actually get into the commentary topic, I want to speak about what and who I am well not what I am but who I am I'm a carnage commentator that's how I met Jake I think I knew him a little bit before I actually left carnage I left carnage joined amp worst decision of my whole entire YouTube career and then I came back to carnage not too long ago about a month ago I'd say and now I'm back in the stride and all that good stuff and I'm nearing 500 subscribers on my new channel so if you guys want to all links in the description down below I commentate to life stories all that good stuff with some pretty awesome gameplays in the background some from Jake actually so if you guys want to all links me in the description down below. I'm doing a face reveal at 500, and I'm going to be having that video come out soon. So if you guys would like to, all links in the description down below. But let's get right down into today's commentary. So today's commentary is actually going to be a life story. It's going to be about the time I got into my first fight. So obviously, a fight is sometimes fist fight. It could be screaming fight, all that stuff. There's multiple kinds of fights, but obviously, I'm going to be doing a fist fight because who cares about me talking about a damn scream fight, at screaming at someone over some random bullshit. Because obviously that happens when you're a little kid all the time with your parents. You're a little brat or something and just scream at your parents for all that dumb shit. But anyways, let's go right down into this gameplay commentary. Well, not gameplay. Into the commentary. Anyways, so the life story, it begins in middle school. I was around 7th grade, I believe, which is, uh, I was about 13 to 14, I'd say. No. Yeah, 13 to 14, I'd say. And then I began to really realize that I was a lot bigger than most kids. I'm a lot stronger than most kids. So usually if someone messes with me, I'm not too scared of them because I know they're a little bit more intimidated by me. So obviously I have a little bit of advantage on them. So I started to just hang out with my friends one day at lunch. This is around noonish during the middle of the day. So we're all just eating lunch, all that good stuff. And then we go outside at lunch because uh, when we at my middle school or for some of you guys, I think it may be called primary school or secondary school. I'm not too sure, but I know at my middle school, which is 6th through 8th grade, uh, the 7th graders were really the only people who I talked to and associated with. So during the 7th grade lunch, we'd go outside and we'd just play basketball, something like that, right after lunch. So we were playing basketball one day. So we're all playing basketball. There's about 12 of us. And there's one kid who no one likes who was out there. Obviously, you guys all know there's that one kid who no one likes. And he started to really piss me off. I mean, he was saying random stuff. He was trying to crack jokes like your mama jokes, all that stuff, which I do not take lightly. I know I'm one of those fags. But, I mean, I can take a joke if you're my friend. If you're not my friend, it's a completely different situation. I did not like this kid one bit. He was always annoying me, always being a little annoyance to everyone. So I decided to do a little step up. And I told him, if you don't shut up and stop saying these jokes and you do not leave this court, I will beat the shit out of you. I didn't say those exact words, obviously, because I can't remember what I said exactly. I said something along those lines and he immediately just said, you will not hit me. I know you won't. And this kid just tested me beyond belief. You know, I was trying to hold back, didn't want to get in trouble and stuff. There's no one over there to get me in trouble, though. So obviously this this was the only kid who would get me in trouble if I hit him. So, I mean, he's the only way I could possibly get in trouble because I know none of my friends were telling me none of that stuff. So then I decided, all right, you know what? Screw this kid. And he said one more time, I know you will not punch me. I hit this kid as hard as I could right in the gut. This kid started breathing for his life. It was possibly one of the best feelings ever just having that one kid who no one likes finally shut up and leave. And then he cried later, and I actually got called into the office because the faggot, obviously, is a little tattletale and couldn't handle us making him want to leave and him stop cracking jokes all that stuff i did end up getting out of it didn't get in trouble because of what i told and i basically said that he was cracking jokes i didn't like it i became defensive all that stuff but anyways i hope you guys did enjoy the commentary if you did all links will be in our description down below if you guys enjoy the beast gameplay leave a like and subscribe to jake once more i do commentaries all that good stuff on my channel link is in the description down below once again this has been the commentary nfc coming i'll see you guys later peace